Every school day, school bus drivers are faced with demanding situations. These include behavioral issues, challenging driving situations, and inspecting and maintaining their buses. It's the bus driver's job to adhere to these responsibilities. A case in point is railroad crossings. Drivers must follow proper procedures at all times. This means they must know how to implement and interpret a variety of issues whenever they approach a railroad crossing. A school bus is one of the safest vehicles on the highway. However, it's no match for a train. This brings up a key safety issue. Trains with their massive size can't stop quickly. Therefore, school bus drivers need to exercise extreme caution whenever they are going across a railroad crossing. A recent study found that there have been 162 train and school bus collisions between 1902 and 2000. Of these, 34 resulted in fatalities to school bus passengers. In this video, we want to show school bus drivers the importance of correct railroad crossing procedures. We will also go over frequently asked questions and provide the best possible solutions to them. In addition, we will cover different types of grade crossings, as well as warning signs, pavement markings, and step-by-step -step demonstrations of railroad crossing procedures. All of these procedures will adhere to federal guidelines. Our host throughout the video will be Karen Sullivan, the veteran bus driver with 24 years of experience. She will give a thorough demonstration of safe railroad crossing procedures. These training procedures will follow federal guidelines. The program will also cover special circumstances and we will introduce a number of important safety considerations unique to railroad crossings. Now let's begin by taking a look at the different types of crossings a school bus driver may run into during the course of a typical school day. There are basically two types of crossings, passive crossings and active crossings. Also, on occasion, you may even run into a signal controlled crossing. We will briefly go over these different types of crossings, starting with the passive crossing. Passive crossings do not have any type of control devices in their intersection. There will be no lights or cross arms. The decision to stop or proceed lies totally with the judgment of the bus driver. <laughs> 